by Naharnet News Desk the 8th of August 2017-0919 The United States has reportedly warned of depriving Lebanon of military assistance shall the Lebanese army coordinate efforts with Hezbollah and the Syrian regime during its expected battle against the Islamic State group on the country's eastern border, al Joam Horia Daily reported on Tuesday. U.S. Ambassador to Lebanon Elizabeth Richard has reportedly strongly warned against the consequences of any coordination between the Lebanese army and Hezbollah or the Syrian regime in its upcoming battle against the IS, under the penalty of depriving Lebanon of its military assistance, reported the Daily. Meanwhile, the Lebanese presidency's media office reported a day earlier that talks between Richard, accompanied by the new U.S. charged affairs Edward White, and President Michel Aoun on Monday at the Babda Palace, have focused on the general situation in the country in light of the latest developments in the country. Richard has reiterated the positions of her country in support of the stability of Lebanon despite the bloody and tragic developments around it and its continued commitment to support the Lebanese military and security forces, which are engaged in a difficult confrontation with terrorism, concluded the Daily. In the past 10 days, three U.S. military transport aircrafts have landed at the Riyadh military air base in the eastern Bekaa. The planes have reportedly transferred large amounts of ammunition to the Lebanese army, especially rockets, and various equipment suitable for the army's military operations in the eastern border, said al Joam Horia. A military source told the Daily on condition of anonymity that the U.S. and Britain are unequivocally supporting the army's operations with ammunition and equipment. They are providing generous assistance, and the weapons that arrive are essential in the battle. The arms delivery comes as the army gears up for a major battle against jihadists from the Islamic State group entrenched on the outskirts of the border towns of ALQAA and Ras Baalbek. The army has been pounding their hideouts on an almost daily basis.